guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the NBC Universal Golden Globes After Party 2016. Hi, Jaden. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Quinn. Hey, what's your name? Quinn, what's your name? Quinn, Giancarlos. Nice to meet you guys. So, um, tell me a little bit about Telenovela. You want to go? Take, oh. <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's a very fun show, very multicultural fun show. Um, it's, it deals with, it's about real people that just go through real life scenarios that we can all relate to. Divorce, um, you know, friendship issues, yeah. uh, work issues, s talks about sex, a lot yeah. of sex in the show. Uh, in, in a good way, sex ed, sex ed. <laughs> yes, I hear that works. Um, no, but you know, it's just things that some shows might be afraid to talk about and we're just talking about real life issues every day that we can all relate to and the characters are super relatable as well, very yeah. funny, all handled with a very comical lens and a, and a very humor point of humor point of view, is that, is, yeah. that, is that a way to say it? And it's really fun that we get to incorporate the side of novelas, because novelas, I grew up watching them and they're always shot so beautifully. You know, I always joke, because someone could be dying, but they have the most beautiful wind and lighting and makeup and their lip <laughs> glasses popping, you know, it's a gorgeous death. And so <laughs> we get to incorporate the beauty of novela, but it is an English show, so the minute they say cut, it's like our real lives. So I think that, you know, I agree with Jen, that's the real drama, and that's where it's like, you get to see how you can relate to each and every character in the show. What did you guys think about uh, Eva Longoria and America Ferrer's uh, Golden Ghost speech tonight? They Amazing. were the best! Amazing. Hands down, that was the cutest yeah. moment. That was, that was so one of the cute. best yeah. moments in, in the show. It's nice to take a platform like, you know, tonight, because, yeah, it is fun and it's nice to celebrate things, but it's also a, a good time to bring awareness to things or, or you know, a cause for concern. And the way they brought awareness basically describes our show. We talk about real life things that could be handled and are serious issues, but in a funny way. Because when you do things with humor, it just people listen more and they it's do. just easier to listen to. You can reach more people if you do it the right way, exactly. if you're doing it in a good way. And they, they did it the right they did it the right way tonight. They so. did, that was adorable. Um, what can you tell us about your character? Um, my character, I play Roxy, Roxy Rios, and she's a young, naive ingenue. Uh, she um, She's very va va boom, very sexy. Um, <laughs> yes. But but as the season unfolds, you get to find out that she's actually more intelligent than she seems at first, and uh, she's actually pretty innocent, which you wouldn't suspect by the clothes she wears. So <laughs> it's fun to get to play that. And your right. character, that's, that's good. Right. That's right. Javi is, you know, what I love the most about him is that from the get go, from the beginning, his all of his flaws are exposed. I mean, he comes in as the ex that cheated. I mean, he, he's, he's had he's, some douche moments. Very, yeah. very douche moments. Uh, <laughs> way too douche for me. So I, I say, do you relate to this character? No, no, no. Way too douche for me. And the guy is, is you know, it's 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 kind of crazy, overboard. But the reason why they did it that way is because as the show progresses, you see his evolution as a character. You see how he matures. You see what losing the love of his life makes him do and who he, who it makes him become. He's, and he it's, becomes vulnerable. Yes, yeah, very vulnerable. Yeah. And to see that arc. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, how has your experience tonight been so far? It's been Great. amazing. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah. There were some amazing winners tonight. I was really happy Taraji won. I have always yes. loved her. Thought she was phenomenal. She gave, she gave a nice She's time. amazing. I was, I was happy when Sylvester won. Yes. Yeah. Oh, right? that was amazing. Aww, and Denzel. Denzel's one of my number one. So Denzel's phenomenal. well deserved. Well deserved. Phenomenal. And in the after party, if you could like sit down and have a conversation with anyone tonight, who would it be? I think. Oh my uh, gosh, I don't know. I I, I know this is gonna sound like we're trying to plug, like I'm trying to plug in the show, but I haven't seen my cast members in a while, so I'm yeah, looking. I have I'm looking forward everyone. to. Yeah. yeah. We, I've missed. I know. She's I'm gorgeous. looking forward to catching up with them, but everyone really, everyone is so beautiful. You know, yeah. Leo's waiting for me back there as well. Oh, Leo. I gotta, They're on a first name basis. I got, yeah, I got to yeah. go. Well, gotta, Selma's probably waiting for me. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, Sam Nova is Hayek. I won't keep you guys then from your from your obligations then. <laughs> BFFs. Congratulations on the show, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite Golden Globes moment. Here's a hint. It was probably Sly.